Hello everybody, this is Michael from Just Art Guitar. Uh, today I have another video for you. Um, what I'm going to talk about today is Floyd Rose Bridges. Anybody that has a Floyd Rose Bridge, you either A, you love them, or B, you absolutely hate them. Now, they are fun to play. Uh, there's a little bit of issues with them as far as like changing strings and intonation and stuff like that. Uh, so basically, what I have here is my Jackson Warrior. As you can see, it comes equipped with a Floyd Rose Bridge. Now, what I did was I swapped out the old Jackson pickups. I put a set of EMGs in there, the headset, and I added another two knobs because of the fact that I didn't have tone control on the set that it came with well I had a tone control but not for each pickup so what I did was I went ahead and added another two knobs um, after that I had to change the strings so I did the string change as usual and what wound up happening was it threw my tuning out of whack like completely completely out of whack I tried everything to retune it I was just having an issue and when drop tuning with the Floyd Rose, it's like, once you get it, you're like, yes. Like, it stays in tune. It absolutely stays in tune, but it's just the problem of actually getting it in tune in the first place. Um, anybody that's ever tuned up a Floyd Rose, especially when you first try messing with the Floyd Rose, it could be a little tricky. So, what I did was, I had another guitar, my Charvel, the Floyd Rose went completely out of tune in that and I wasn't able to get it back in tune. I played with this thing for a few weeks, like just, you know, 20 minutes here, a half hour there, and I just could not get it to stay in tune. Absolutely just having complete trouble with it. So I looked for a remedy to that and I found this. This is a tremolo stabilizer. Um, this thing was absolutely awesome. It was $6.50 and it completely saved my guitar. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to install this and exactly what it is that it does. So let's get started. Uh, for this you're only going to need a little Phillips head screwdriver and a power drill. So to start off we're just going to take off the screws on the back of the guitar. All right, so that's done. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to flip the guitar over. Gonna grab the bar, push down on the bar, a little bit. take the back plate, slide it right underneath the Floyd Rose, let go. That'll keep your Floyd Rose in an up position. Then open up the stabilizer. It also comes with the Allen key to adjust it as well. Um, you can buy this on eBay at... Post that right up here. And you can see exactly uh, what the name of it is and what to look up on eBay. They're fairly cheap. I believe I said it already, it was $6.50. and. To save the problems with the guitar for that cheap of a price is absolutely awesome. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the stabilizer, take the Allen key, you're going to loosen it. Just to give you enough space to screw down those screws right there. Now, you're going to take the stabilizer, 
and you're going to place it right in between the strings in the back of the guitar, right there. You can see that? That's where you want it. So we're going to sit this down, place it exactly where it is that we want it. Now, to start off, now we're going to take the mini screwdriver, we're going to set it exactly where it is that we want it, take the screwdriver, poke it through, you're just going to put a little indent on the wood there, then you do that for the second screw as well. screw. All right, that's set. Now we're going to take the second screw. So that's what it looks like completed. Now, what I'm going to do is check the bridge. It's still sticking up a little bit. Now, all you have to do is take the Allen key. going to loosen it a little bit. Alright, so we have the bridge flat, flush with the body. Now, we're going to take the back plate, put the back plate back on, tighten the screws. job is so easy all you need is the allen key and a small Phillips head screwdriver. Right. And then we're finished with this back plate. All we have to do is tune this guitar up and we're ready to go. There we go. That plate is on. Bridge is flush. Let's turn the lamp on.
Oscar. Time to tune the guitar. G shows. that um, like I said I will leave everything right up here as to where you can find this tremolo stabilizer um, like I said this thing is godsend so and they're only six dollars and fifty cent and as you can see in the video they're not hard to install so thank you everybody um, if there's any questions please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and like and subscribe to the video, I would highly appreciate it. Once again, this is Michael from Just Art Guitar. Thank you all for watching.